Hey everybody, so today I'm here to show you guys how to use your Amita Maya Pro. I'm going to walk you through everything that you're going to need to set it up, how to do that, how to assemble your parts, and then also how to find a comfortable setting for you to use. So this is the stuff that you're going to need to set up for single pumping. If you wanted to double pump, you would just obviously repeat the process with the tubing and the parts aspect, but to keep it simple, I'm just going to be showing you how to set things up like you would be single pumping. So first things first, we have the pump motor, the manual, tubing, your backflow protector that's unassembled, the bottle, the flange and connector, all in one piece, the membrane, and then your wall adapter right here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to assemble your parts. Okay, so here's a look at the parts that you're going to need. I did want to mention that the bottles do come with lids as well, but I don't use mine to store milk. I just use them to collect milk, so I have mine put away right now. But here's a look at everything. I would say start off with the easiest thing first. Like I said, this is kind of like an all-in-one piece. It's your flange, it's your connector, so there's not a whole lot else to do other than to take your white membrane, go ahead and just kind of press it up on there. Try to be delicate. These things can rip sometimes. And then you just go ahead and you screw your bottle on. So that part's really simple. And then right here, you do have the three pieces that make up the backflow protector. This white piece is a membrane. These two are the harder outer shells. So you're just gonna wanna take this smaller plastic disc, just kind of hold it and then place the membrane over and then slowly wrap your fingers around the edges and pull it up so it's nice and even. And then you're gonna wanna take the bigger plastic piece and go ahead and put that on the back and just kind of sandwich it together like this until it all feels nice and flush. And then you've got your assembled backflow protector, just like that. And as far as which side you put in, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put this side inside the connector itself. I like to give a twisting motion so not to be too harsh on the thing that connects them so I don't go breaking anything off. And then this back side will go into the tubing. Okay, so now to kind of set everything up, I'm going to go ahead and take the motor and plug it in. Right there is your power adapter port. So just go ahead, plug that in. I already have my adapter plugged into my outlet over there. And then the tubing port is right up here in the front. Like I said, I am going to be showing you guys a single pump version. If you want to double pump, you would just open up this flap put the other tubing right there. But since we're not, or if you do want a single pump, just make sure that this is closed so you're getting some good suction. So go ahead, take your tubing, kind of twist it. This tubing port is at an angle. It's not like completely parallel with the pump. So you are gonna notice that it kind of goes up. So there is that. And then you wanna take the other end and you wanna go ahead and you wanna put it right there on that little piece that we talked about. I again kinda of get it started and then I do a twisting motion while also using my other fingers to kinda of press against so nothing's snapping off, nothing's getting too much pressure on it. So it's basically all ready to go and be ready to use. See, there's the setting I left off on. Everything's attached, everything's working as it should. You should see the backflow protector moving in and out. It should sound like it's working, which it is. So now I'm just gonna walk you through what the different buttons and settings and everything else mean. Okay, so as far as how to use this pump, I'm just gonna scoot this over, zoom you guys in, and kind of go over the buttons here. So right here on the front, you have your power button, your light button, the different suction levels, the frequency rates, and then also to interchange between massage and expression mode. So if we go ahead and turn this on, I have it started up at a different level. I just want to show you this. It is going to start off wherever you left it at. So you can see I increased it, I turn it off, turn it back on. It's exactly where we left it. So for that reason, you're going to want to go ahead and remember to either decrease your settings before you're done or to turn it down once you start up again. For someone like me who uses lower settings, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really alter my settings too much, but for someone who slowly increases throughout their pump session, 
it is going to be a big deal. So as you can see, it does have the LCD light up screen. It's going to tell you what cycle you're on, what suction level, if you're in massage or expression mode, and also the little timer. It does have a 30 minute timer, so it'll shut off then. That does not mean you did anything wrong. It's just kind of there for like a reminder, hey, it's been 30 minutes. And also in case you fall asleep, because that does happen. So you'll be thankful for that. Also, I wanted to mention that the night light is actually underneath your handlebar. So if you go ahead and pop that up. I'm going to create a shadow so you guys can see the light is right underneath there. You have three settings and then it turns off. So you're just going to have to work through the settings to go ahead and turn it off if you accidentally turn it on. But it does show up a little bit if you do have the handle down. I'll show you that. Obviously not quite as much. You do have this position right back here to set a bottle or whatever you might want back there. But if you want the night light as a whole, I would recommend popping up the handlebar but I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off now. But like I said, right here, these are your suction levels. So this is to decrease suction, increase suction, to decrease frequency, increase frequency. This is going to interchange between massage and expression mode. My recommendation is to start off in massage mode and there's only one cycle rate. You cannot alter the cycle rate here it's not going to increase or decrease no matter what you do. That's just massage mode for you. But you can increase the suction. There are a few different options for that. But I did want to point out that you can't change the cycle rate. But if you go over to expression mode, you can adjust the cycle rate. It does go pretty low. And then you can also obviously increase it. And the same goes with suction over here as well, obviously. So it's got a lot of different suction levels. And like I showed you, this is what you use to alternate between those modes. It's just as simple as hitting that button. Now, when it comes to finding whatever setting is going to work best for you, you are going to have to figure that out by trying this pump out. I would recommend to start off in massage mode. Start off, obviously, the only cycle rate you can but start off with the lowest suction level and slowly increase that and see if you need anything higher. Just slowly work through that. And if you notice that you are all the way up on suction or that you need a lower frequency rate, then you can hop over to expression. I would again start with the highest cycle rate and work down. I would work with the lowest suction rate and go ahead and increase. So what I'm recommending basically is that you start high with frequency and work downwards and to do the opposite with suction. Start off low and work your way higher. With that, I feel like you're gonna find something that works for you. You want pumping to be comfortable. You want something that totes the line of expressing your milk, making sure it's pulling it out and emptying you well, but not so much that you're in pain. It should not you know, cause you discomfort or anything like that. So it's a very fine line to tote, but you can find it using that method. I feel like it's the easiest way to explain it. I also want to mention that you can stay in massage mode the entire time if you want to. That's what I do. I tend to stay at 60 and level 2. That's basically what I stay at my entire pump session with this pump. It's not going to kick you over after any certain amount of time. You can stay here the entire time if you like that super high frequency and you don't need a ton of suction. It's going to work well for you. So that is an option as well. That is everything that I can think of on how to walk you through how to use your Amita Maya Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.